Hey, Couch by Couch West. It's Little John the Poet. Uh, probably going to be the one poet who contributes something. Or maybe this is a dare, and it'll dare other poets to do it. Uh, this first poem is Suppose I Were a Killer. Uh, not a very likely thing for me. Anyways, Suppose I Were a Killer. Suppose I Were a Killer. Suppose I Were a Killer of Dreams. Suppose I were a killer of demons. Suppose I were a killer of innocence. Suppose I were a killer of reality. Suppose I were a killer cast out to sea. Suppose I were a killer landlocked. So that I may no longer see amber waves. How could I go about the killing? How would I go about not getting caught? How could I choose my victims? Would I kill the dreams that I thought unworthy? Or would I kill the ones that I thought attainable out of spite and, je and jealousy at the failings of my own? Just how you spot demons. They walk among us as friends. It is not until after they act against us that we know that we were among them. So how do I determine whose life I should take? Should I just set my stake in any man that seems to me that he has bad intentions in his eyes? How many innocents would I claim in this rampage? No, I must be more calculating if I am to be a killer of demons. One of those innocents who are already lost, should I have mercy and take them out of their misery? Reality seems to me to be the greatest demon that none can escape. It walks in the door without invitation just to cause chaos wherever he go. Shall I take him down too? We could all do without reality. If I, the killer, were to get caught, where would my prison be? Would they send me out to sea on a ship? I think that would be an unjust punishment. I would quite enjoy a sentence of being sent out to sea. My need for the hunt would be quite satisfied there. So no, I must not be sent out to sea on a ship. Would they lock me up on land? Lock me up in a pen surrounded by land? I think that this prison would suffice for, I, for a killer such as I. I would look around at a land that I could not explore with my feet, with my hands. Passers-by would be able to mock and scorn me. They would be able to do so quite freely. Soon the state would see that they could make a great profit off of me. They would put up signs of advertisement, charging all sorts of outrageous fees, just to see and heckle me. I would stand there and take it, knowing that I had become a prophet of the land. I, a killer, would be a prophet to someone. Suppose, for a moment, that I were a killer.